I'm back everyone. You may be in a situation where your Android's phone screen or home screen, whatever, the whole entire panel is just unresponsive. So what does this mean? Well, essentially you're tapping on things, you're trying to click open things and trying to maneuver through things, but nothing is working. Now, the first thing I'd recommend doing in this specific case is to actually go ahead and make sure that you didn't randomly drop your phone or you threw your phone face first on the pavement or anything like that, because sometimes the screen may look perfectly fine, maybe a scratch or two, but the panel and the digitizer on the back may actually end up having issues. So like I mentioned, the only way to fix this is to pretty much for the most part, you have to repair your phone, so you're going to have to send it into whoever made your phone, and that may end up fixing it. That's probably the only way to fix it if you randomly dropped it. However, if it was perfectly fine, it was working fine one moment, and now it's just frozen, well, the first thing I recommend doing is clicking the volume buttons. If you click on the volume buttons and the volume does go up and down like this and it does change, but the, the, but the screen just isn't responding, you may just have to hold down the power button on your phone like this, and you may want to go ahead and see if you can click the power off. If not, keep holding down the power button until your phone reboots. However, if you click on the volume up and volume down buttons like this, and it doesn't seem like that's moving either, the next thing you're going to have to do is pretty much hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time until your phone completely reboots. So go ahead and keep holding down these buttons. If you have another Android phone, it can be the volume down button and the power button as well. So what we can do here is sometimes it's the volume up, sometimes the volume down. So go and click on all these buttons like this. You may take a screenshot. And what you want to do here is you want to go and keep holding down these buttons until the phone completely restarts. So at some point the phone will go and turn off, it'll go and reboot itself, and once it turns back on, all you want to do is go and see if the screen is responding. If the screen is responding, then you're pretty much good to go. If the screen is still not responding, the next thing you may want to do is go ahead and see what the directions are for your phone to factory reset the device. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, it's going to delete all your data from your phone. So I'd recommend either sending it into Apple so what I recommend doing is sending it to your manufacturer and contacting your manufacturer and see if they can fix it. Because if it's a hardware defect, you don't want to delete your data first. However, there's still a chance they may delete it. So you can try factory resetting your phone and restoring it that way see if that fixes it. If not, you may just want to send it and contact your manufacturer and they may be able to fix it for you as well. So that's pretty much it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.